Hey there, Sam. Larva Fortify offers us quite a number of ways to customize the package, and that includes customizing the views or email that Larva Fortify will send out to the user. Let's take a deeper look at that. To understand how email verification work, we first need to look at how Larva Fortify sends out the verification email. To do that, we'll go to Fortify's routes file and look for the post endpoint that sends out the verification notification. We'll go inside the email verification notification controller. And in a logic, we can see that Laravel is calling the send email verification notification function on the logged in user model instance. And that means if we define this function in our user model, we can customize the logic of sending out an email verification notification. But how does Laravel handle this by default? Let's go to our user model. And as you can see, our user model looks quite empty by default. Laravel has hidden a lot of code by default within the framework. And now if we look at the must verify email contract, which is also known as interface, we can see that there's a function called send email verification notification in it. Since this is a PHP interface, that means this function is defined somewhere inside the framework. Let's do a global search and we found it. It turns out that this function is included inside the must verify email trait provided by Laravel inside the illuminate of namespace. And the function logic here is quite simple. It simply calls the notify function from the user model and accepts a new verify email notification class instance. We haven't spoken about notification yet, but the idea of it is very similar to sending out an email in Laravel. However, with notification, we can get Laravel to send out to different channel like Slack, Discord, or SMS. These are the alternative ways for us to send notification to our user if we prefer not to use email. Anyway, let's go inside the verify email class and we can see that there's quite a bit of things going on here. But the main part that I need you to look at is this to mail function. Out of the box, Laravel will use a mail channel to send out notification. And this to mail method is exactly what Laravel uses to build the email message to send out to the user. And the logic of it is quite simple. First of all, we'll create the verification URL and then we'll pass in this verification URL into either a custom callback function or the built-in build mail message function. The fact that Laravel is checking and calling a custom callback function means that we can customize this verify email notification class without creating a brand new custom one from scratch. We'll go through the custom callback in just a minute. For now, let's look at how the build mail message function works. As we can see here in the function logic, it is simply returning a new instance of the mail message class. The mail message class is a helper class that allow us to quickly create a one-off email template without the need to create a separate view file. The API here is quite easy to understand. As you can see here, we just need to call the subject method to define the subject of the email and the line and action method will let us to define the body of the email. And we're calling the get method from the length facade to fetch a translation of the provided key to a different language. This is part of the internationalization of Laravel. We will revisit this topic in more details in the upcoming videos. For now, you just need to think of the length facade as a quick way to grab translation for a different language. Now, if you want to customize the mail building logic, we can either use the mail message helper class or provide our own view template. The verification email needs to have a verification URL contains in it, which is represented by the URL argument here. And by default, this URL is generated by the verification URL function. And again, if you look inside the function body, Laravel offers us a way to customize the URL generation logic. If we did not supply the custom callback, then Laravel will generate the URL by using the sign route method from the URL facade. The temporary sign route method will create a temporary link that has a signature or token attached to it. Having this unique signature can help us to protect a certain route so that we only allow a certain user to access the route. In our case here, we only want the current logged in user that is undergoing the verification process to click on this link. We are encoding the user's information into this route, which in our case here will be the user ID and the user's email. And we're hashing the user's email using the SHA-1 hashing algorithm. Since the user's information is encoded into the URL, if someone else attempted to click on this link, the encoded user information will not match the imposter's information and therefore will know that this link is not clicked by the legitimate user. There's a lot more to talk about the sign route in Laravel. I think it deserves its own video and I'll stop it here. Okay, for now, let's try to customize this verify email class. We're gonna set out the custom callbacks to build the mail notification and also the verification URL. 
we will write our customization logic inside the Ops service provider. To customize the mail building logic, we will call the to mail using static method. The method accepts a callback function that accepts two arguments. The first argument is the user, and the second argument is the verification URL. And what we want to do here is to simply return a view. Let's go ahead and create a blade file inside our views folder. And I'll call it verify.blade.php. I'll be using Laravel's built in mail markdown component by using the mail message directive. And I'll go ahead and type in something stupid here and pass in a verification link for the user to verify themselves. And now we'll go back to off service provider. And inside the callback function, we need to return a new instance of mail message. Let's create a new mail class for our verification notification. We'll go to our terminal and type in PHP Addison make mail. And I'll call it verify mail. And now inside our mail folder, we can see our newly created verify mail class. Let's modify it so that it will send the verification email to the user. I'll get a mail class to accept our user and also the verification URL. I'll make these two properties public so that they'll be passed into our blade template automatically. And now inside the build function, we will return a markdown, which is referring to our verify.blade.php. And we also need to specify who do we want to send this email to, which in our case here, we'll be sending to our user's email address. All right, let's go back to our off service provider and we'll get our callback function to return a new instance of our mail class and pass in our user and verification URL to the constructor. And now let's give our code a test. We'll go to Postman and register for a new user account. And we get a success response. At this point, the user should have received a new email telling them to verify their email address. And we we'll head to mailtrap.io and we see a new email in our inbox and our custom verify mail message. Great, so that's how we can customize the verification email in Laravel. We can also customize the logic to create the verification URL by calling the correct URL using method and passing the callback function in it where we'll write the logic to create our own custom verification URL. For most apps, I do not encourage you to touch this logic at all. Just use what Laravel has already provided us. We'll stop here for now. In the next video, we'll explore more ways that we can customize Laravel 45. I'll see you there. Key takeaways for this lesson. Laravel 45 relies on a built-in verify email class provided by Laravel to send out verification emails. We can call the verify email to mail using method to define our own logic to send out the verification notification. We can encode information into Laravel's sign route for the purpose of validation. This is very useful if we want to correct routes that is only accessible by a certain user. That's it for now and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoy the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.